let's go see how I made macarons. Beat the egg whites with the salt until foamy and add in the granulated sugar. Beat until stiff peaks foam. When you lift up the mixture, it should stand and be glossy. Sift the powdered almonds with the cocoa and the powdered sugar. Add the almond powder with the cocoa and the powdered sugar all at once. Fold from the bottom to the top till the mixture starts to fall like lava. Some recipes say about 40 to 50 folds to 100 grams of almond powder, but it really depends on experience. Put the mixture in a piping bag without a tip bone. Put a dot of the mixture on each end of the pan and line over the parchment paper. Save the macaron circles as evenly as possible. They should not touch the part you put in the dots under the parchment because they will stick over them. Bank the pan 3 to 4 times so you will remove any air bubbles left on the macarons and their shape will become more even. Let them dry for 45 minutes to an hour depending on the humidity of your house till you touch them with your finger and they feel dry. Bake them at a preheated oven at 150 to 160 Celsius for 12 to 14 minutes, depending on your oven. Halfway through baking, rotate the pan from the back to the front. They're done when they have formed their feet and they feel dry on the top. Do not let them take color. Let them cool and then remove them from their parchment. For the Nutella ganache, heat the heavy cream and add in the chocolate pieces. Wait some minutes to melt and stir. Add in the Nutella and stir. Put in a piping bag and let it set in room temperature or for some minutes in the fridge so it will become pipeable. Fill the macarons and refrigerate them for a day to firm. Eat them from the next day. My mistakes. Mixing. This is the hardest part. If you undermix or overmix, 
They won't come out properly. They might break or be hollow. Only by making them many times you will be able to tell how much mixing they want. If you overmix just a bit more, they will come out like that. Also, there are a bunch of mistakes that can happen. There's a whole encyclopedia of macaron mistakes all over the internet. They can even be hollow like here if there's any air left on the meringue. If you do not beat the meringue till it's done. If your oven is still hot and so many more. Follow the same procedure for the vanilla macarons, but omit the cocoa. If you want, you can add gel food coloring or powder to them. Do not use liquid, they will not come out properly. Do not line mixture all over under the parchment, the macarons will stick on the top. I was afraid the parchment would fly up from the oven air, that's why I did it, to stick. <laughs> if they're stuck in the parchment, put the parchment in the freezer, let them cool, so they will unstick easily, I guess. Find the written recipe link on the description below. After that, it is so how hard they are, so go buy them! <laughs> if you liked the video, press like and subscribe to my channel!